Welcome back. And it is Master Ross AA, okay. Interesting. You never really want to get Burning Spears level 1 anymore. What did you learn? Ishiki's gonna come in though, try lane v try lane. Hmm. Dumbot. Lion Axe, fire. Fallen Loaf. There we go, Hishki. Picks up the kill and they're gonna get a little bit of damage on Q as well. Mid lane, Sanctity. He's fallen low as well, Fearless. One more right click. Finds a kill and I mean now we were speaking about this is not the strongest lane matchup for the Ember versus the Storm. Through this top side though, if they could catch out Marvel, this would be a big kill. They're gonna go now. They can kick him to get that cold feet connection and the proc will come through. Marvel Pulse doesn't get much life back and it's gonna cost him his health his in that regard there. But might have a battle by the river. Zip in, pulling incredibly low. Hishki. Just gonna get brought down, fearless. It's actually Q that's going to pick up the kill. Sanctity wants some cleanup. Can he get the chains to cancel the TP? He can. Just in the nick of time, Sanctity sweeping on over. Finds a big kill against the Storm Spirit, who was having a very good start to the game. Now he's going to try and pair up with Marvel as well to chase down Masteros. Decides back up and available. That's going to be the second time the Ancient Apparition. I, you don't really see Huskus go minus, so I'm, I'm intrigued by it. Very intrigued. It's Masteros. Well, they're going pretty deep for the kill here on the Ancient Apparition. It means that Hishiki's going to run into both the supports now that's backing up the Ancient Apparition. And around the outpost control point, they're going to have the TP come through from Fearless. Blast finds a clip on top of the Necrophos. Marvel's not going to be able to play around with the sustain, so they bring him down. They are just going to tear up the map with this item advantage they have. And Hishiki... That is not a high ground you want to run up to, my friend. Even though it's on your side of the map and you got Sanctity moving on over, you, you're still going to end up losing your life, unfortunately. And and there you go. Orchid completed for the Storm Spirit now. I mean, Sanctity is still going to be able to run into Lion X. He's got some backup in Q. Even with Fearless as well. Scythe, not enough to find the kill. They're going to punish now. Sanctity loses his life, and Marvel's going to be pretty careful. They've already used the Ice Blast, and without the Spirit Vessel yet completed, they're going to kill you with Ice Blast and Spirit Vest when you don't have items to keep yourself alive against it. And you don't have heroes as well. As Q rolls in, there's the Ice Blast to fly in. Down goes your Huska. The look on the sweep and over. Phyllis, nice just the Orchid. Gets rid of the Phoenix Supernova potential on that high ground. Even Jackie's thinking about it getting involved. Motivate, they've got the numbers advantage. Even Hishki moved, but that's a quick sans from Q. Prevents the cogs, and now they're even gonna jump the back because Marvel's in trouble. Q once again with the roll in, and Marvel would just fall. That's four down from Lil Gun. I mean, are they just gonna rush with this? I kind of am feeling that they might want to. You see how they're positioning as well, the support's just the the good old stand in front. Hook. Yep. It's like, oh no, I'm here, Q says. Oh, they might just get no. kills instead. Zip one out. Well, they'll find the clockwork. They won't get anything more. It's they actually Jackie. Ages. Yep. Yeah, we saw the... Oh, they're setting up a 1-2-3. Instant blink. And Jackie needs no help. I'm... Oh. Well, I think we're really already starting to see that the Midas Boots of Travel is just not paying off at all. It's low gun. They're going to lose an extra hero across the map here. This is a... Beatdown of from Motivate. This is uh Motivate definitely Radiant strong case for one of the top teams in Southeast Asia. Even though they're only in the lower division, there ain't no upper or lower divisions here in the four qualifiers. Marvel's gonna get picked out again. Sanctity, he's like he's behind levels from Q. Like you do not want your position to Ember Spirit behind the position for Earth Spirit. <laughs> You really don't. Just shows the dominance of this game one from Lil Gun. I mean, Fearless, one, two, maybe. three's got the BKB now. Storm Spirit just gets to zip away. That extra health and strength coming through thanks to the Sanja Kai. Even the Ogre Axe helping out there drastically is saying, Did he? Nice remnant. They're down two heroes right now. Make it three as Jackie gets a lot of swipe on the Sanctity Ember. Why not? He's waiting for the Blink Dagger. Oh, to some pops in raid should still be able to close distance. <laughs> uh, it's 
I mean, Ursa feels like a pretty good hero versus Hoskar, nonetheless, as well. Like, you, you've got a lot of burst potential with the Fury Swipes. And, well, mid lane. The fight's gonna break out. Phyllis, nice hit. Finds the Phoenix. Just haven't seen this Supernova be a big factor this game. Jack even just finding a first hit bash to deal with the Necrophos with the Soulbind. Leashing all the look on together. They're gonna have to call it quits. And what a performance from Motivate. Just completely wiping Lugan off the face of the earth in this game one. I still do wonder if they're gonna battle though, because. Dark Willow's only got one ability, Morphling at level 1's not the strongest. I feel like even the, the Abba too. Well, they're actually going in. Yeah, they're gonna try and split it up, but Q? <laughs> we see, I mean, they're man fighting against a tag team ace. Nice use of the Fairy Fire. Jackie as well is committed into the fight with the Blade Fury. And the right click slow thanks to Lion Axe Stroke of Fate gives Jackie some time to escape the Onslaught in the river here. And it's actually just gonna be one kill. That's end up picked up. It's it's a lot of heroes using all their resources though. Mm -hmm. oh, Sanctity, he's gonna be able to get at least one of the water runes bottled. He's still got that bounty rune available for himself. And... Oh. Cockwork still falls. I mean, that's a big kill for Master to pick up though. Get... And now he yeah, has to really be does. playing a lot more carefully. Yeah, oh, because of that, because of that, you cannot be shifting just willy nilly. You're gonna get punished by that level six and. Fearless, he is having a fantastic start oh, to the game. Oh no. Oh, you hate to see it. Now top as well, Q. Nice pin saw, gets the Coglan too. That's a beautiful stroke. And now all the AOE damage just tears apart Lilgon. So which, one, two, three, I'm sure he would have loved to have that. And again, we're seeing him go the uh, Hand of Midas. I feel like this time around, it's much more handy. Who they found? Finds Ace and Meanwhile, Marvel just moves forward, so the Soulbind gets a connection, but I haven't brought any nice, guns terrorized. yet. So with the terrorized Bedlam combination, Kishki is able to secure the kill on top of the Void Spirit there. Really nicely done from that Dark Willow. Here we can see, smoke comes out. It's another five seconds until you've got this uh, Wrath of Nature, and that's oh. exactly what they're playing around. Cure Lion Axe. They run into the smoke head on here and they've got no extra backup for the boys. I mean, they're coming through from the bottom side. Even Jackie thinking about getting involved here. Jackie's got two points in the Omni Slash, so chucking that one out instantly, but it's tanking up through all of the little gun heroes. Phyllis able to reset. The healing ward's dropped in the river. They bring it down, but it's gave a little bit of health back from Motivate to see if they want to end up turning. With the Exus, is a Mastros able to chunk through them. Unstoppable streak right now for your Death Prophet. You know, you've got level 2 Nature's Prophet as well, Ultimate, so... Let's see what they're able to do about it. But actually, huh, a little surprised they didn't commit into uh, right-clicking down that creep to make sure that uh, Masteros wasn't able to get the oh, TP Masteros? through. Although it might have been a bait. Yours gives him some space. Now they got to turn. Masteros Force Radiant to double back there in the hopes of being able to bring him down. But now with the Soulbind, Fearless finds a kill on the touch. He's got to be careful to reset. But once again, Masteros... What a beautiful silence. Stop the Morphling from being able to get the attribute shift. Now with the Omni Slash. Sanctity. He's going to end up dropping there. Marvel runs the opposite direction. But Masteros has still found the Willow after the Abaddon kill. Can he get the TP? He cannot. The little spirits, they'll always hunt you, they'll always find you. Did, did you even get enough gold for it? No, you didn't. Nope. <laughs> Lion Axe. Might get punished here. Nice shards, actually, from Ace. Locks him in a tricky position. Phyllis still gonna jump in, though. Has a double damage rune to pay off. In this big team fight. Sanky, there's the E-Blade coming through. It's not enough damage to find the kill on Phyllis. They're gonna hook oh, up to the northern into side. It. It's a Sprout, however, Q gonna get locked in. Two will fall from Motivate. Fearless might still fall as well with the Bramble, but no, Masteros gets a godlike streak. They still get the kill. Nice use of the Bramble there. Exo down. Back up He's though. He's kinda keen though. Silence. Once again, Morphling's gonna be careful. Exo gets popped. Now with the Aegis, nobody on this. He might not be able to- Oh Jackie my got god, it. Jackie! He picked it up still. Oh, Jackie, you're so good at Dota. Marvel will lose his life as well. Three down. Can you pick up items through Omni Slash? Yep. Hands of Jackie, who almost has the Aghanims completed here. They've gone a bit deep on Q, and he just gets brought down to stop. They want to punish that. 
Nice shoots to the snowball. Gives him some time. Actually goes to the creep as well, but they're still all grouped up for another triple silence from Masteros. Finding the Tusk kill early, Abaddon's going to have to run the other direction, but they controlled the Morphling, sets up for the Remnant. Is the Terrorist going to come in time? It's not. Kishki, a bit too late there to save the Morphling. You know, Dyer, the Void Spirit will offer them a, a lot of catches. There is a fight occurring right now, let's feel this. Most BKB BKB, pop from one, yeah. two, three, and well, they've already lost Hishki as well, so they can actually recommit here. Fearless not having a carry in the world with the backup of the boys. And the goon's just going to move on forward here, finds the Abaddon drag back. Abaddon does have the ultimate, but actually it's going to come through. Good job. Still, wow, Jackie just crits him down. It's just a game with Logan just no glyph. Yep. Two sets here. I would. You've still got that Aegis for another minute 20. You've got all of your abilities. Yeah, hell, Clockwork's even got a jetpack to his name. One, two, three. Might actually have to pop BKB to TP out now. They've caught him out the ones. He'll throw for it. As Q got the hook shot, he does, and he's going to cancel that one. And now with all the damage that's stacking up, I don't know if one, two, three is going to get the secondary TP. Won't. The BKB's expired. Q did such a good job to be able to hold on to that hookshot for as long as possible to waste the BKB duration. You've got Morphling who, god damn, he's not even level 15. Is he going to get caught out here as he's farming this ancient camp? Ooh, nope. Nice the Abaddon's going to tank it. Tanks the gank, saying that he's still sticking around and Phyllis, he gets the sit up. Think, did he unable to get the attribute shift? Now with the silence, Felix can play around with the secondary science and even Lion Axe is silence too. It's silence on top of silence here is the Morphling. He will lose his life even though Abaddon was in a relatively solid position to tank the gank. It's just, they're going in for more. Look how aggressive they're playing it. Forces a tusk to snowball outside the base and you see AC, he recognizes it. My mistake. He's our own chat line, oh boy indeed. I, I, he's got... <laughs> Silence is 9 second cooldown, like this man is just going to be spamming out abilities. And Marvel? Oh, I don't think you can... The Abaddon like, can't even run forward and tank abilities. See how much damage Sanctity he has to go for a blink after the Eblade to maybe find a kill on top of one hero, but... A soul by him leashes him with the Abaddon. Motivate our force to try and deal with one, two, three, but you gotta keep in mind that's it. Core as well. And that's all she wrote. Just a an incredibly dominant, dominant performance from Motivate. And they're gonna open up here in the OEDL4 invitation.